I love crooked grinds. In fact, I would say they are in my top five favorite tricks that I can't do without. You're gonna to wanna to be able to do all these into no slides pretty well. If you can't do those already, there's not gonna be much point in doing this. But if you wanna get a little jump start on crooked grinds, why don't you watch this slappy crooked grind tutorial. Now keep in mind, this is a slappy-ish crooked grind. It's not a real slappy crooked grind. The link is in the description below. So first, let's take a look at a crooked grind and see what the heck one of these is. So when you're first learning these, you might want to choose a lower ledge because it's just a little less intimidating. So for getting into these, your back foot is going to be in its regular ollie position and your front foot should be really close up to the nose because once you get onto the ledge, you've got to transfer your weight onto this little spot right here. So riding up to the ledge, my deck is maybe a foot and a half to sometimes even two feet. So I ride up to the ledge parallel and right before I pop I quickly arc. I turn a few degrees, so maybe about 20 degrees, which is roughly the angle that I might start to grind at. So watch on this last one, you can see I'm riding up parallel all the way up to the ledge and then a quick turn in, get my board just to about 20 degrees and once you're on the ledge you can add a few more degrees into your crook grind. Okay, now let's talk about getting into this trick properly because the scariest part about this trick is if you accidentally get in and zoot out like that. That's kind of a nasty slam that all of us who have mastered crooked grinds have had to go through. So let's also talk about proper truck positioning. So it's called a crooked grind, not just because it's not a nose slide and not a nose grind, like not just because it's at that sort of 45 degree, but it's also called a crooked grind because your truck gets super all like wanged out and bent and rad looking, like so. Check out that sweet radness. Okay, so again, going kind of parallel on your ride up instead of riding up to 45 degrees helps. Now there's a reason for this. If you're riding up to the ledge at 45 degrees to try and plunk this on here, what's gonna happen is you've got your momentum going diagonally to the ledge and you don't want that because the ledge is straight, so you want your momentum going straight. And here's how I visualize it. I focus my energy on this little portion of the truck. Like I just visualize like, I wanna land on that part of my truck, this one little inside part. And I focus my energy there, do that little ollie. And with years and years of practice, it's gotten really easy. But at first, the hard part is gonna be getting that little pinpoint right on that part of the truck. So first you might wanna try these on something totally unwaxed just to work on the truck placement. Like go slow and just work on just kind of planting it down in the right spot. Once you're comfortable with actually planting it down, then you actually wanna do it on something reasonably slick because these are kind of hard to push through when you're first learning and you wanna be able to just kind of jump up there and glide with it a little. So foot positioning when you're grinding is this foot is on this side of the ledge. It's just resting here, bending the truck out, being all rad. This foot is usually hanging off like this a bit. That's usually where I have it. Okay, so those are the easy parts, believe it or not. The next hardest part of learning this trick is learning how to actually pop out of these because the natural way to first learn them is just do that little pivot out. And that's a pretty simple and easy motion. In fact, we're not even really gonna get into it because it's basically just like a kick turn motion off your nose, like that little pivot, then you can pop out of these going to fakie. Okay, so let's talk about how you can work on learning how to pop out of these. So basically, it's a nollie off of your crooked grind. And the tricky part about that is, well, how do I nollie when my board is already up there and has no leverage? So I'm gonna show you where the leverage is, what the pivot point is. Okay, so as I'm all pressed flat here, you can see there's no room for me to nollie. So here's how this works. The crooked grind is actually tilted up a bit. Now I have about an inch of space right here. That is the space that generates the nollie to pop out. So it's just this little bit of room, you go like that, and it pivots across this line, like this. So before learning how to pop out of these moving, what you can do is practice on a ledge. So you're learning how to come off in the middle of the ledge. Okay. 
So again, it's that tiny little centimeter or inch of space in there that gives you the leverage to do a nolly. And if you're doing this in the middle of a ledge, you have to do a pronounced effort jumping this way. Sort of the same way when you're jumping onto a ledge for a 50-50, you have to learn how to ollie with your body moving forwards. So it's the same thing off a ledge, doing a nollie from your crooked grind. You have to be able to push forwards to clear the ledge. Now when you're coming off the end of the ledge, the hardest part is to have your board not flip out like that. And so what I think it is, is you're focusing your energy on the back of the board, which is gonna help it not flip out. If you're toe heavy on your crooked grinds, you're gonna flip out every time. So not only do you focus your weight on the heels, you also, when you get to the end of the ledge, you do a quick thrust, like a pointing forward, like you're popping off a nose manual. So again, you can see I'm getting ready to thrust forward. And I love this still because you can see how it's actually a nollie. You can see my back foot turned up the way I need to to get a bit of a nollie. And you can see I've pressed down on the front of my board to pop it off. Okay, so that is all the information I can muster out of my brain that might help you learn to do a crooked grind if you're struggling with them. If there's anything I missed out, feel free to point it out in the comments. And you guys should read the comments because maybe the question you're gonna ask has been asked and answered. So you never know, it might already be in there. But yes, again, if I missed anything, just ask. So I wanna say thanks for watching. I hope this helps you get well on your way to getting a satisfying crooked grind. I honestly think they're the funnest trick ever. I could do like a hundred of them all day and wouldn't get bored of them. But when you do too many, you get dubbed a crookie monster. So be careful. If it's the only trick you got and you're a one trick pony, you're a crookie monster. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.